nominees had each guided productions that broke new ground with their storytelling and their subject matter. From the strains on post-war midwives to suffocating Hollywood hotshots, through a crime procedural told through monologues to a transgender contract killer, these are all outstanding pieces of fiction. Let's have a look at them. Director, fiction. Berger Larson, murder. I could hear him, and I could hear her, and I was shouting, like, what's he doing to you? What's he doing? And yeah, I might have pushed him, but that was it. I was shouting, what's he done to you? What's he done? And I was shaking the door and shaking it, and the washing line came off, and I fell back. Philippa Lothrop, call the midwife. Hetty McDonald, hit and miss. Can I help you? Riley. Who are you? What is it? Go back inside, Ryan. Uh, I said go back inside. Who are you? An old friend of your mum's. Mum's dead. Julian Gerald, the girl. Daddy, bye, everybody. 613, take 17. And the BAFTA goes to Philippa Lowthorpe for Call the Midwife. I don't know what to say. I haven't. I really. I did not think that I would get that. I, um, thank you so much. I really don't know what to say. Um, thank you very, very much to Pippa Harris for asking me to do this wonderful job. And to Heidi Thomas, who wrote the most beautiful script. And to the most amazing team, Eve Stewart over there, Amy Roberts over there, Dave Thrasher over there, but your wonderful editing, Christine, who's already won a BAFTA. It was the most wonderful labour of love to do this uh, programme, this lovely drama, and I'm absolutely overwhelmed to have won that. Thank you so much, BAFTA. I'm really pleased. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, first ever female to win this award as well. I think it is, actually. I, I knew that um, it was only the second time women had ever been nominated, and this year there's two women, me and Hetty MacDonald, who's a brilliant director. And before that, there'd only ever been one other nomination for a woman. And so this is the first time a woman's ever won the fiction directing, which is quite astounding, really, isn't it, in this day and age? It's fantastic news, though, because it's your first nomination at the BAFTAs, and um, first win, and the first win. That, I mean, what a great night. Oh, I know. I'm completely sh shocked, actually, and a bit shaky. So when I, they announced your name, what, what was going through your mind? I was going, what was going through my mind was Julian Gerald for the girl. I just, because that was such a brilliant piece. Um, I, I was totally convinced that uh, he would win, and he's such an amazing director, and I, I, I never in a million years thought I'd win. And it was so, so special and lovely to be nominated, even. And for a show like Call the Midwife, which I think has gained in seriousness in a way, I did the first series and the second series, and it's a very, at first it was an easy series to dismiss, 
but actually it's a very important feminist series and lots of people, lots of women writers of, like Catelyn Moran have said that now. So, Well, it's also been, um, you know, loved by the viewers as well. Yeah. I mean, the ratings have been great, which is why it's oh. now about to film its third series, yeah. which you're not going to do. I'm not going to do oh. because I've done five episodes now and... Um, my daughter's doing her GCSE, so I needed to take some time at home. But I feel a real wrench not doing it again. It is the most wonderful series to, to work on. The scripts are, are amazing. Heidi Thomas is the most superb writer. And it does, the cast is wonderful. It's just such a great team. Well, and they've won an award already tonight. I know. For Christine's makeup, I, I, she thoroughly deserves it. You know, it's such a, a talented team. And Hugh Warren, who's the unsung hero behind the scenes, um, you know, who I forgot to say thank you to in my... Because I, I didn't make up a speech because I, I really honestly didn't think I would win.